Hello, I'm Ryan F9 and these are my favorite street motorcycle gloves. Forget the dirt, forget the racetrack. If my bike only sees the public pavement, I have my own set of needs. Let's look at light commuting first, riding to work, riding to the pub. Maybe my trips last 10 minutes at a time, so I just need something simple, stylish, and I don't want to break the bank. The Z1R Streamline is all that. I mean, 30 bucks and there's absolutely nothing to it. It's just a basic, well-made leather glove. I have 0.8 millimeter cowhide here, which sounds about perfect to me. Obviously, it's not 300 kph sliding on my palms competition leather. It's also not fashion weight leather. I mean, this has just enough abrasion resistance that if I take a tumble in traffic, I'm not going to get hurt. And at the same time, it maximizes the movability and the contact feel that I have on the bike's controls. In terms of technicality, it's a short list. Perforations on the top of the hand and the thumb, and then we have elasticity at the wrist and a little bit of gel padding on the palm. It's tempting to think of the gel as a safety feature, but it's really not. This is more about dulling handlebar vibrations to increase comfort. The Z1R Streamline is definitely an American cut. And my three and three quarter inch palm would put me in this size large, but there is a little bit too much girth around the hand. And then when I stretch my fingers out, there's not quite enough length. I don't really mind it, but people with really long and skinny hands should probably stay away. So that's the Streamline. It's a simple, comfortable leather glove that looks good on and off the bike. I mean, once upon a time, this was all a motorcycle glove was, and even nowadays, it's probably still everything a light commuter would need. Now, as a street rider who does many kilometers each season, I need a little bit more for my glove. I still want that classic look, but some protection and features would be nice. Icon's Pursuit touchscreen checks all the boxes for me. Now, 115 bucks sets these guys well ahead of the Z1R, but they actually have the quality to back it up. Obviously, there's more armor here. And I have semi-rigid knuckles and shields across four of the fingers. It's more tailored fit as well with accordion stretch fabric down the side of the hand and a Velcro closure at the bottom. Now, the palm is good too. It's doubled up just on the high stress areas. Like its name suggests, the Pursuit is going to be touchscreen sensitive. All five fingers are made from TouchTech leather, so theoretically, I could use my phone with any of them. Of course, it's always a little bit clunky to use a device with a glove, so if there's anything longer, like typing a text message or an email, I'd probably end up just slipping the glove off. Icon sizing chart puts me in this large, and the fit is bang on. Now, it's worth noting that the two different colorways in this glove are actually vastly different gloves. And this is the black version, which is perforated sheepskin, and it's going to have a huge amount of airflow for summer use. But there is also a stealth colorway, which is actually made of unperforated goatskin leather. And that's going to be much more durable, much warmer, and more water resistant. So essentially, we have one colorway for summer use, and then a whole other colorway for spring or fall. I mean, it's kind of weird, but maybe I just end up buying a pair of each. I really love this glove. It's comfortable, it's convenient, it's crash ready, and it does have that classic style. Now, I'm gonna end at that heavier side of the street riding spectrum. Maybe I commute 200 kilometers to work every day. Maybe I'm a tourer heading out of town every weekend no matter what the weather looks like. For that, it's Alpine Star's Jet Road Gore-Tex gloves all day long. Obviously, full Gore-Tex membrane in here. 100% waterproof, breathable, and that's the guarantee I'm paying for. And at 230 bucks, the Jet Road is actually one of the cheaper ways to get it. I found the fit to be comfortable and customizable. Now I'm playing the accordion with the back of my thumb the back of my hand, and then there's this new Velcro closure around the wrist there, and this zipper here opens the gauntlet. Now these little guys are cool, they're auto-locking zippers, so the tab wants to stay down rather than flapping around in the wind. And then of course there's an elasticated inner gator to form a watertight seal with my arm. Other features, TPU knuckle armoring and a bit of impact padding on three of the fingers. This pinky has the typical A-Stars bridge, that's going to prevent it from rolling away in a low side crash, it might save me a broken bone. And I also have high-vis material lashed across the top side. Flipping it over, we have a bit of foam padding and then a lens squeegee on the thumb. I've always used these when snowboarding, and it's about time we saw more squeegees on moto goggles. There is one weird thing, though, and that's the built-in stylus on the end of the index finger. I suppose that might be useful for some GPS systems and older smartphones, but to be honest, I'd way rather have a touchscreen capability. Most of this glove is textile, but there is leather on the palm, the outside of the hand, and that pinky bridge. I mean, props to A-Stars. They've kept me protected and safe where it counts, but then spared enough of the cow to keep this glove under 250 bucks, Gore-Tex and all. So the Alpine Stars Jet Road is my favorite glove for heavy street use. It's comfortable, protective, feature-packed, waterproof, breathable, literally everything I could want from a glove. It does have a fairly muted contact feel on my bike's controls. But then again, I kind of expect that from a glove this substantial. And by the way, my hands are nine inches around the palm. That would put me in a size large, but I know enough about Alpine Stars to go a size up, and this XL fits perfectly. That's it for my favorite street gloves. Thank you guys very much for watching.